Hello, Sisfer here again, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Commands. Today we're having a look at block data, which is slash block data. Now, what does block data do? Well, block data changes the data inside tile entities. What's a tile entity? Well, this here, that is a block. Nothing special, just a block. However, blocks that do things, such as a beacon here, command block, chest, it does stuff because it contains items, so it does do something. And so it droppers, hoppers, those sort of things, um, redstone comparators, all those things are tile entities and have extra data inside them. Just get rid of that. So I've got a few set up just here to affect this beacon block. So if you have a look inside the beacon block, you can have different powers, like strength, resistance, haste, etc. And they are the primary power of the block. So I've got this command in here, which is block data, and it's just targeting over here. And it's changing the primary tag. So it's inside the curly brackets and primary colon one. And if we hit the button there, that is updated the block data of this block. So now if we have a look here, this beacon is giving off the speed effect, which is actually showing it's also been selected. The one round the front, if you want to remove it, you just set primary zero and it'll go away again. And there we go. So the speed's disappearing. Using this, you could also got jump boost. If you look inside, there is a jump boost one. So if I do that, there is now the jump boost effect as it is set the primary to be this one. Even though it's not actually selectable because it doesn't have enough pyramid levels, it's still able to set that effect. So I now have a jump boost coming off there. A couple over here I have though, nausea and blindness, if you look, are not available options. But if I press this one, it's now making this beacon's primary nausea. So I'm now feeling very sick for being near this beacon. And if I can hit the button somehow, <laughs> oh dear. Oop. Hang on, this is not going well. Where's that button? Right. Ugh. That's better. So if I do this one, we set it to 15. I'll point out all these numbers you can find on the wiki. Each one of these is actually a portion effect and beacons use them in exactly the same fashion. So that one, there we go. So now this beacon gives off blindness and so I can't see a damn thing. So that is updating the primary tag of the beacon. Now the beacon block does have other tags inside it. So it's got a secondary one, um, whether it's locked, etc., And this can update all of them. If you go ahead and have a look on the wiki at the um, MBT data of what exists inside the tile entities, you can change any of those. So that's a simple block. You've also got this little setup here. Um, as per usual, this entire world is in the description below for download, so feel free to play with these. I've got a couple set up here targeting this chest. Now, as you can see, there's nothing in the chest, but if I press this one, I get a whole screen full of text. I've now given a set of armor and some weapons inside the chest. If I look inside this rather long convoluted command, again, it's just block data, and it is setting the tag that chests have known as items. And inside the items, and don't worry too much about the descriptions of these, as it says download world, have a look. But these are matching exactly as exist in, if you use MC Edit and the Texel Elves, yeah, Texel Elves MBT filter, you can see all these and copy them out. I'll do a tutorial on that at some point. But that, updates the entire items tag, and the entire items tag contains every single one of these squares. So if there's no information, they're just blank. But you don't have to worry about that too much. If we do this one here, which is the XP and I set, press the button, 
You'll notice the previous stuff that was sitting here has all vanished, and now it's got other items, as these are all stored in block data, and it's replaced the entire of the items tag. That's why the other ones are now missing. So you can just flip that back and forward, as you like. And you can put any items at all inside a chest by using that sort of thing. They also, as I said, can target anything that has information inside them. Well, this command block obviously has information, which means command blocks can be targeted. So this one up at the back at the moment, there's nothing in the chest. If I press that button, that's actually setting the contents of this one, which is already set so you didn't see any display. Press that button, and now, if I'm looking here, there's all the weapon stuff. This one, however, press that, has updated this block at the back, so it's now got different information in the command. So when I press it now, different contents inside your chest. Important thing I must point out though, and let's have a look at command inside here. When placing a command, you actually have to escape out certain parts of the characters. I'll explain what that means. So in commands, you've got speech marks, which are these ones here. A speech mark opens and another one closes. So if you've got a command that goes along and part of the command that you try to place is speech marks, it will break. So you have to escape them out by doing a backslash just before it like that. The other possibility is just replacing the quotes with single quotes, the doubles with single. But that only works to one level down. Might sound a little complex, but that's probably something for another day of placing commands and command blocks. We're just demonstrating how the actual uh, block data command itself works. Final one I want to show you is a fun little one with signs. Now, you'll remember from the chests, I said the entire items selection, every single one of these gets updated, whether there's information or not. That's because you're updating one tag, and that one tag contains everything. In the case of signs, however, each one of these lines is actually a different data tag. So this one over here is setting the block data text to, which is one tag. And just ignore this at the moment, that's fine. And the text three, which are two separate tags, which is a line that says jump and disabled. And this one does the same, but changes the contents. So if I press that, it's updated only the second and third line. So if I right click the sign now, I get teleported into the air and it says fly. But I press this one, and now it's disabled. Right clicking does nothing at all. Uh, if we just have a look at the command that went in, I was mentioning about escaping uh, quotes. Where are we? So over here, I have a single quote as it's one level down. But then within that, two levels down, I still have to escape them. That's a little complex for this episode, and it's not really relevant unless you're pasting commands into things. But it's worth knowing and playing with. And well, just really try and break these and see how they break, fix them again, and see exactly what you're doing. There you go, so that's the block data command. Just to reiterate, world download description below, play with it yourself, and hopefully you found that useful. So as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. Um that looks a little dangerous. Oh well, just stay away from the walls, I'm sure we'll be fine. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! No, 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 oh my god! Oh, no, 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 please, please, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna, oh, ow, ow, oh, oh.